We are joined by Dr. Kayleen Green from Montana State University and she is going to be talking about how she uses peer assessment to improve student engagement in her classes. The reason I got more interested in peer learning is because I noticed that my students weren't as engaged as they could be. So the traditional model of the professor talking and the students just sitting there listening to lecture and taking notes and regurgitating material, it wasn't working. They were, you know, memorizing things at the surface level and then forgetting it. And so I was, I was interested in seeking out methods so that my students could uh, build more critical thinking skills, you know, build those communication skills, those teamwork skills. I've noticed with all of the peer learning methods, you know, Students are more engaged throughout the process as they create things, but also assess each other's work um, and, and they put in more effort. And so this next slide talks through some of the benefits that I found with peer assessment. These include a primary one is, you know, that students can get feedback fast, right? And so later on, you'll see how quickly they get feedback, but you know, it's like a day or two and they get feedback on their papers from many people and it's thoughtful and it's personalized. And I just wanted to share with you all uh, one thing that one of my students said. She said that students, professors will tell students when they give feedback, you need to do X, Y, and Z. Students will tell other students pointers on how to do X, Y, and Z. So because they share that similar perspective, um, it's actually really helpful to get the thoughtful feedback from students themselves. Uh, in addition, students really like when uh, peer feedback can be anonymous to reduce bias. As we know, we all have these um, biases and that helps with that. Uh, as a professor, using critic and other peer, peer assessment, but especially critic, um, it saves a huge amount of time grading. Maybe other professors have this experience. I'm very slow at grading. <laughs> And it often happens on my weekend or at nighttime. And so being able to um, focus more on interactions with students, advising and mentoring is, is a real plus from using these type of assessments from the professor perspective. In addition, uh, it actually improves students' engagement. A student told me that when they know their peers are going to be evaluating them, they put in more effort because they don't want to let them down. Um, so I thought that was really interesting. Uh, and it helps them to build all of these uh, soft skills, communication, teamwork, and so forth. I really try to emphasize that regardless of the career that they go into, they're gonna be providing feedback on something, whether it be, you know, a report that somebody's done, a business model, a paper, Maybe they're a manager and they're going to have to assess their employees. Um, being able, the skill of being able to provide feedback that is both critical, useful, um, you know, as well as motivational and helps people um, is really wonderful and such, such a blessing to be able to give people. Um, and, and to learn how to receive that feedback as well is, is really important. I actually set up a course before getting into Critic, like before I even had used Critic. And so um, I don't exactly grade it the way, the same way that if I had just used the Critic grades. Um, so students get a grade that is the, the summary of their peers. And I, the first couple of assignments, I went through them all. So it actually was 10 times more work because I actually looked through all of the peer comments and stuff, but all of the grades seemed appropriate once I went through them all. Um, and so then I did that a lot less. Subsequently, I have separate participation points that they receive for doing the evaluation and feedback pieces of the course. So I have like the content, the creation, the assignments in the course that they get grades for, and then they get participation grades when they do their the subsequent steps in critics. I also noticed that uh, as students go through the process, they say, you know, reading other students' work helps me better understand the material and better 
better realize what I could have done better on my own work, you know, so, so this higher level thinking and making connections across different topics is really critical. And of course, at the end of the day, the professor, sometimes professors are worried about giving up control over grading. That was never one of my worries. <laughs> so I'm enthused about it, <laughs> but, but professors still have ultimate control. So if, if there ever is a, a concern that something wasn't fair or that some, somebody's work didn't get the attention that it deserved, Professors can always um, make adjustments as needed.